Hey everyone, good to see you again. Uh, it's been a while. It's been over a couple months. Um, I kind of disappeared a little bit just because the holidays sort of got in the way. But uh, I'm back and uh, I've been reading some comments and there's a couple comments in which just kind of kind of gave me ideas for things that I need to do before I start moving on. What we're going to do today is we're going to fix Pro Builder, we're going to fix uh, jumping, and we're going to fix how we mount and dismount in this game, I guess. <laughs> Off our horse and onto our horse. We don't even have a horse right now. We just move really fast. Anyways, um, let me just show you what I mean. So first of all, Pro Builder, I can't really show you exactly, but things are different. It's different. You'll see. You'll see what I do in a sec. But the main gameplay stuff that I wanted to focus on is basically just, you see this little variable here called can jump. It means that I can jump, of course, and I press the space bar. And if I let go, I can jump, but if I press the space bar and hold it down, you can see it says I can't jump. So, yeah, I have to let go of the space bar before I can jump again. Here I have this uh, mounted type. This is going to be a variable that we're going to move into another script later, but we're just going to have this here for now in the player controls. And basically, so I have ground mount. If I mount, then I move to, uh, you know, my standard like mounted movement. And if I on mount, I start moving slower, but if I go flying and then mount, same thing, but I can start flying. Now I'm super high in the air, and if I click the mount thing again, I start to fall. So those, those are the only things that were really missing from the character controller, and they're pretty easy to set up, so let's just jump right into it. All right, so to start, we're gonna fix a pretty simple problem, um, and that's Pro Builder. So basically every single time we try and edit with Pro Builder, you can see we immediately get like a null reference exception, even though we can still technically use Pro Builder and we just get a bunch of errors and stuff. So the best way I've found for us to do this is to, instead of deleting Procore, we'll come up to, wait a second, come up to Window, Package Manager. You got to give it a second to load and then type in Pro Builder. And then here you just want to click Install. All right, so it says Pro Builder 2.x are incompatible and need to be upgraded. Would you like to convert your products to a new version of Pro Builder? Future updates will not require this conversion. Click yes, oh, and then it's just gonna take a second. <laughs> not really sure why this decided to open, so I'm just gonna close it again. The following uh, open scenes has been changed on the disk. Would you like to reload scenes? Let's reload it, and voila, everything has been changed. Now that we're all done this, let's have a look at what we have. All right, so we have in here Pro Builder, and we technically don't need this. So if I delete this, what happens? Nothing, because we still have the package inside the package manager. And so that's how you make that change. So we can still click on this, open Pro Builder, and things look kind of different here, but you can still make all the edits that you need to. So that's that change. Let's actually get into like the meat of all the all the basic stuff that I, I wanted to do. One of the things that was pointed out to me, I don't remember the person's name, but you'll see it on the screen, but they, they mentioned that while flying, if they unmounted, nothing would happen and they would just continue flying. And what we need to happen is for the character to fall. So open up the player controls and we're gonna set that up really quickly. Um, we're gonna come into here and right above mounted, we're gonna make a public bool and we're gonna call this one mount. So this is gonna dictate whether we mount or dismount or something like that. And then right at the bottom, actually outside of the class, I'm gonna make a public enum. We're gonna call this one mount type. And we're going to open up a curly brackets here. Go away Visual Studio, I'm recording a video. And we're just gonna set up flying and ground, I guess. So the reason why I set this up outside is because at some point I'm actually going to create a class for mounts. Pretty much just going to take this and put it in that script, although outside of, you know, the mount class. So now let's come up to here and let's again create a public mount type. We'll call this one mount type. It's ease of use. And we'll just leave it as is for now. So next, right before we go into move state, I'm just going to say if mount is true, then we're going to do stuff. 
else we're going to do other stuff. We're going to go if mount type is equal to mount to type dot flying. Let's let's actually start with ground. I probably should have should change the order of that. Uh, anyway, so mount to type dot ground. We're going to set uh, mounted state equal to mounted state dot mounted. So this should not be capitalized. And then else if mount type is equal to mount type dot flying, then we're going to set it equal to mounted flying. I'm going to change one thing here. I don't want this to be capitalized. So let's fix that really quickly. And then inside here, if it says not mounted, then uh, we actually just want to go straight from uh, to mounted state is equal to mounted state dot unmounted. And let's actually add a couple conditions as well. So let's go just just to make sure that we're not doing this every single frame. So if mounted state is not equal to mounted state dot mounted, then we're going to set this up. And I'll just copy this one here this in some brackets, grab you, mounted flying, grab you, and voila. This is going to work except for when we're flying. So what we have to do is we have to come down to flying and right at the beginning we're going to say if mounted state is equal to mounted state dot unmounted then we need to switch back to move state is equal to move state dot locomotion. So this way we uh, transition back into that. So let's test this out really quickly. It should work. Um, and so from here, I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to select mount type flying. We're good. Then I'm going to uh, click on this mount. So now we're mounted flying. If I unmount, we go unmounted. So let's mount up. Let's jump up and let's start flying. All right, cool. Now everything is normal. We can go into the water. We're swimming. We can come back out. And when I deselect mounted, we start to fall. Very cool. So let's just go through and let's start hiding things that we don't need to see. So for instance, the mount type, I don't need to see. Hide in inspector. Uh, there's a couple other things, these public floats here. Hide that in inspector. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for now. It looks like maybe mounted state we don't need to see. Mounted state either. Mounted speed and flying speed. Uh, yeah, we don't need to see that either. We can, we'll, we'll deal with that again later. Yeah, okay, so cool. We've got our move state, we've got our ground mask. Uh, we've got all our controls. Perfect, so now that we're all cleared up, let's solve the next problem, which is this jumping issue we have, which I'm not really gonna be able to show you perfectly how, like the problem, but um, basically if you're all up to date, you should know that if you hold down the space bar, your character just keeps jumping. And we don't want that. We want it to be kind of like a one-time press. We want it to basically be like you jump, and then if you hold down jump, you can't jump again until you let go of the jump button. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a variable that we can use to sort of check whether or not we can jump. So it's going to be called can jump. Pretty simple. And we're going to set that equal to true by default. And uh, let's come down to here where we're pressing space to jump and let's say and can jump. Uh, so we don't have to worry about putting anything inside uh, to, to check to see if the controller is grounded because by default we can't jump if the controller isn't grounded so we don't have to worry about that. Next we have to we have to set it inside the uh, jump method uh, right underneath jumping where you know right at the beginning here I want to set can jump equal to false. And then we're going to come back up to here where it says if controller dot is grounded right below if jumping then set jumping to false. I want to say if jump, no sorry, if not jump, jump being the, the space bar basically. It's the variable that we tied to the space bar. So if, if not jump and not can jump, then we're going to set can jump equal to true. And that should solve our problem for us pretty pretty easily so let's jump can't jump anymore let go um, let's actually serialize this so that we can see what I'm talking about so as you can see it says I can jump 
I jump, I can't jump. I jump, I'm still pressing spacebar, I can't jump. Let go, I can jump. I fall off a ledge, try to jump, doesn't work. <laughs> and there we go. So that's pretty much everything. Uh, just solving all the problems for all the for the next episode and uh, yeah basically uh, yeah last year was pretty awesome I I have to admit I didn't make as videos as much as I wanted to but I made over 12 videos which means that I sort of beat my one video a month even though I didn't actually put out a video every single month I made a video uh, close to the end holidays kind of got in the way um, I don't know, hope, hopefully I can sort of resolve that this year and actually make some videos during the holidays or at least plan some in advance or whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, this year is going to be pretty fun. We've got our character controller basically done, so now we can dive headfirst into some of the other cool stuff that uh, World of Warcraft has to offer. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, I'm building a new computer, so probably won't be streaming anytime soon. Um, should have that up and running, uh, hopefully after this video goes up. And yeah, if you like this video, feel free to leave a like. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. And, uh, yeah, I hope to see you next time. Um, subscribe so that I can see you next time. Uh, and, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun this year. This is going to be a good year. Super, 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 super. And he sells super.